Okay, you know the $20 sandwich trick. When you check in, you tip the front desk and hope that they'll give you a room upgrade or something that'll make your stay better. Let me tell you what happened when I tried this at the Cosmopolitan, which is one of the newest and nicest hotels in Las Vegas. But first, let's go back two weeks. There was an email sent to me for the basic Cosmopolitan city room. It's their basic room, but they were only asking for $109 per night. I've seen these rooms run from $400 to $600 a night, so there was no question to book it. By the way, if you want to get these lower rates, just join their identity membership, which is free, and I'll post the link below. So the day comes, and no matter how many times I do this tipping trick, I get a little nervous. I checked the Cosmo website in the morning to see that everything was booked for the day I was staying. That's not a good sign when you want a free upgrade. Should I still do it? I'll still give it a shot. Maybe they'll give me a coupon or at the very least they'll try to give me the best location for the basic city room, right? Still felt nervous so I took a shower and did a few push-ups. I wore my happy looking shirt and got a nice and crisp $20 bill ready. And here I was at the Cosmopolitan of Las Vegas. I marched towards the Cosmo Hotel Lobby with my proud $20 bill. The hotel lobby was packed. There was a really long line for each check-in counter. I first scoped out all of the front desk workers and couldn't choose a person I liked so I just lined up where the line was the shortest. As the long wait continued, my hope for an upgrade kept getting smaller and smaller. The workers were right next to each other so maybe they wouldn't feel comfortable giving me anything for free. Should I still risk $20? It's only $20. But I'm booking a room for $109, maybe they'll laugh at me. I have to do it. Gambling is part of Vegas. You start having these conversations in your head. Sir, I can help you next. I went into my battle mode and smiled and said, Hi, just checking in. And handed the worker my ID, credit card, and the $20 bill. The worker, let's just call him John, greeted me with a smile and placed the three items on the counter. John typed on his computer screen and then, he told me he wanted to confirm that I was booked in a terrace studio. By then I was pumped up and I was ready to fight back, and I was about to give a counter offer but... What? I booked the city room and what did he just say? You see, John was playing it smooth and I had to confirm like an idiot. Wait, I'm booked in a terrace studio? John says, Yes sir, we have you booked in a terrace studio for two nights. Then something inside of me went on autopilot and I said, I apologize for pressing my luck here. But is it possible to get the room with the Japanese tub? Sure. Let me see what I can do. He started to type away on his computer and even got on the phone. John said he needs to get help and then another worker, let's call him Tim, came over. Tim comes over and starts typing on the computer. Uh oh. The $20 tip is on the counter and is in plain view. And this guy, Tim, is going to find out what's going on. Why didn't I just shut up and take the Terra Studio? This is like that moment on TV game shows where the contestant is too greedy and loses it all. Tim looks up and tells me, Mr. Yagi, we're going to do everything we can to make sure you get this upgrade with the best view. Please do not worry, sir. I, what the f- I couldn't believe what I was hearing. Did I accidentally tip $100? What is going on? I kept looking around like, is, is anybody seeing this? John told me they placed me in a terrace one bedroom with fountain view. Then John asked me if there's anything else they can do for me. I giggled and said, no, I think I'm totally fine. John put his hand over the 20 and asked, was this for me? I said, it's totally for you. I don't know, I don't know what the hell happened. Alright, let's go. What happened? He it's as if I gave him like a thousand bucks, okay? Like, <laughs> like. <laughs> as I went in the elevator and realized how high we were, it started to settle in that this really happened. So I booked this city room for $109. Let's see what this terrace one bedroom fountain view room looks like. Oh. Uh -huh. 
I'll do a full review on the room in another video. I hope you guys like this video and I'd appreciate a thumbs up. I do read and enjoy all your comments so please feel free to ask me any questions in the comment box below. And thank you for watching.